I know this sounds crazy, but to get bigger, you have to go smaller. What's up? We are back on the uh, Less Business, More Profit series in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona. Weather is super, super, super nice. Um, less business, more profit as in lean, effective, strategic, and simple business. I want to talk to you about the principle of smaller plates, okay? So this is what happens. We start uh, going, we get traction, we get really vested into the business and maybe start getting a little results here and there and whatnot. Uh, and then we, um, we get hungrier. We get hungrier and hungrier. All right, meaning that we want to do more, we want to do more, we want to do more. Next thing you're thinking about scaling three months after you started the business because you saw a little bit of traction. And, and it's, it's almost like a natural pathway, right? It's, it's like a natural train of thought uh, getting into that bandwagon um, after you've gotten some, uh, some business. It's like your first taste of blood and then you just want more as an entrepreneur. Here's the thing though, it's, it's very easy or it can be very easy to lose track of uh, the priorities. As you start to have more traction and get more results again, um, you can get almost blinded, right? By the uh, shiny objects that can pop in the, uh, around you and the opportunities that may arise. Uh, everything gets noisier as you start to plug people into the business, as you, as you start to require more systems and processes and you know, uh, ways of dialing in your company and, and all your actions. All of that creates noise, all right? All of that creates noise, it creates distractions. And um, if you're an achiever and if you're in the middle of building your business, watch out and don't fall for the trap of uh, uh, underperformance because you're being overly optimistic, right? It's easy to start dropping things on top of things when you're creating a business. And then next thing you know, you don't have to work on one process. You have to work on three or four uh, because you uh, were tackling uh, marketing and then you figured out you had to tackle sales. And then you figured out you had to tackle, uh, you know, the phone systems. And then you had to tackle human resources. And then you had to tackle, you know, accounting or, or KPIs and all that stuff. So it's real easy to start just dropping layers upon layers uh, of your business as you're building it, right? So um, you can't lose focus. You can't lose control of things real quick if you don't knock them out one by one. If you're working on everything as a whole, nothing looks solid, all right? It just looks like one big blob of actions. Um, however, if you dial it back and you actually uh, use the principle of smaller plates, um, it's, it's a lot easier to manage. Um, and the principles, let me, let me backtrack a little bit and explain what that is, right? So, um, principle of smaller plates. When you're training, if you're trying, if you're working out and you're trying to, uh, like if you're starting a diet or a meal plan, or you, you go uh, to see a, a, a nutritionist, um, one of the things they're going to tell you more often than not is, is, you know, to watch the quantity of food, right? That you get. And how do you do it? How do you do that? How, how do you watch the quantity of food? It's if you have a big old dish, if you have a big old uh, plate, um, it's going to be easier to, you know, top that thing off, right? And put, you know, just fill it up with food, throw chicken, throw, you know, bread, throw all, you know, everything into it because it's a big plate. It can hold a lot of things, right? Now, what's going to happen? You have all that stuff right there and you're going to want to eat all that stuff because it's in your plate. Now, uh, the principle of smaller plates uh, calls for getting smaller plates. See how that works? Super simple. But if you have a smaller plate, uh, you can only fit one piece of chicken in there, uh, maybe one real tasty piece of bread, uh, then be uh, veggies or you know whatever it is that you're eating, right? Um, but that's you're gonna be you're gonna have to be selective about the stuff that you put in that plate because that's all you have. Now you're not gonna you know get bogged down with that big old meal uh, because you're eating uh, in proportion to what you're able to digest, all right? So it's the same thing in business. We are uh, talking about the principle of smaller plates, so. Put less things on your plate, make your plate smaller, first of all, uh, meaning that the stuff that comes at you, uh, it's prioritized. It's things that really make a difference. It's things that are driving the bottom line. So focus on that. Figure out what your plate looks like in your, in your business and your day-to-day -day actions. You at a personal level, what are you tackling? What are you handling? What do you want to improve this week? All right, that's your plate for the week. And then you fill that small plate 
with whatever goes into it, right? And then you start taking those actions little by little, and then you're done with that and you move on to the next plate. But the principle of smaller plates prevents you from getting overwhelmed uh, with a lot of nonsense, a lot of stuff that it's not necessarily priority, okay? Everything is gonna feel like a priority at, be at the beginning. Even, even the things that can potentially improve your business in six months um, can feel like a priority, but they are not. The reality is that if you're in the startup stage, uh, there are certain things that are gonna matter, right? So figure out what those things are, and I guarantee you they're all gonna be linked to profitability right now, but figure out what those things are, and then put those in your small plate, all right? Again, the principle of smaller plates. Prioritize the actions or prioritize the results that you wanna have this week, and that's your plate. When you clarify that first, everything else comes easier, right? Because now you have perspective as to the order of the actions that you have to take, right? If they fit in your plate, they belong in your plate, you know, they're gonna go on your plate. If not, they can wait until next week's plate. But the principle of smaller plates um, calls for that, right? It forces you to prioritize based on the stuff that matters right now. And you're not putting all kinds of stuff into this big, big, big plate that's gonna leave you feeling disorganized, overwhelmed, and can eventually take you to the breaking point, right? So uh, principle of smaller plates is gonna help you be a lot more uh, focused in your priorities of the business. So whatever goes in that small plate uh, stays in that small plate. You eat the whole thing, uh, you process it, and then you move on to the next small plate for the next week. Um, and, and, and again, this, these are principles, right? You don't have to take them on a week by week basis, but have that uh, mindset about things. They have that mindset about prioritizing things. If it's not important enough uh, or tasty enough, to be on that small plate because that's all you're having. That's all you're having for the week. You're not gonna have a dessert. You're not gonna get an extra plate from somewhere else and then start filling that too. No, you only get one plate. So whatever you put in that plate has to be important enough. Keep your plate small, keep your actions focused and your results consistent. Stay focused, you got this.